Oh, Reawaken Hymns is Nathan Drake. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of great comments going on here. I can't cover them all. I'm, I, I know I've missed some. Rugged Worry says, you can't spell single without sin, the American church. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, uh, I, I, I don't feel like I've heard it personally expressed that strongly, but... There does, and I've even felt I've even felt it myself. Just the knee-jerk reaction to seeing someone who's single, and wanting them to be happy, and so I just think to myself, well, they'll be happy if if we help them find somebody. You know, I haven't gone as far as like saying, hey, let's you know set you up with somebody or anything like that. You know, um, but in some of those cases, I, I do know that they would like to to find someone. You know, and so, but yeah, I think there's something seriously dysfunctional when um, when we think of it as. Uh, a brokenness in them if they don't want to pursue that, you know? Um, Paul says that that can be a beautiful thing. Um, uh, let's see here. And Reawaken Hymns, a.k.a. Nathan Drake, said, I almost requested Uncharted, but that seemed too on the nose. <laughs> uh, also likes Tom Holland as number one. Craig says, I'm kind of a Sam Raimi purist, to be honest, just childhood preference toward that trilogy of movies. Yeah, and I think that... Um, they still hold up as family movies really pretty well. We've started a tradition. I'm always on the lookout for Thanksgiving movies. They're hard to find. Halloween and Christmas you can find pretty easily. What Thanksgiving giving geek movies are out there? And the first Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire qualifies because they have a Thanksgiving dinner together at, at uh, their apartment. Um, and so for the first time we watched that while I was making Thanksgiving dinner uh, last Thanksgiving morning. And as a family movie, I think it really works well. I wouldn't enjoy it just sitting down by myself to watch it, but as a family movie, you know, it was a, I think it works well. Um, all right. Um, Justin Meyer says, uh, I was worried uh, I'd, be out of, I'd be out of Dragon Quest Builders 2 before this stream, but I'm still playing it. Cool, yeah, I imagine there's just tons of gameplay there. Let me get into it and show you some. <laughs> <clears throat> and then right after this, I'll be joined by my lady. Looking forward to that. I think that was my favorite part of the live stream last year, was playing uh, Kaboom with my wife, Holly. Now this one... Um, it's been a while since I played it. And I don't know that it'll ever be a game that I, like, mainline. Like, this is the main game I'm playing in my video game free time. The first one was that for a while. But I don't think this one will be. And I think it's because it's holding my hand a little bit more than that first one did. The first one I felt like set me free more to build and set my own building agenda. Whereas this one, progressing through the game really does require that you, like, see here... Um, I have to, my mission is to build this bar, you know? And before, I felt like you had more opportunities to build things that had certain things true of them. Like they have so many build points, but you still had creative license to make a lot of decisions about them. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Oops, okay, that's wrong. So you gotta follow this uh, this schematic here. Let's see, did I just? Yeah, that's that's right. Okay, good. Um, but in the first one, the first Dragon Quest Builders was like the first crafting game that I really that really hooked me. The Minecrafty type of game that really hooked me, and it's not near as complex in terms of what you can build and do uh, compared to Minecraft, but um, really, really enjoyed it. What are you wanting me to do here? Um, that's not right. I needed to do that flashy thing. 
No, that's not right either. So you have to keep opening this thing up and then looking here at the schematics. Well, that... I wish it would kind of just do like an actual transparent overlay on top of this so I could tell more. Let's see. I need this. I need iron blocks. Do I have any iron blocks? Let's go. Let's go make some iron blocks. Maybe I have some in the oven. I can't remember. Oh, something's going on over here. What am I cooking up? Um. What is that? That's a silver brick. Oh, okay. So I need 141 of those. Um. Uh, I guess I can make that many. Yeah. So I can at least get started here. I did, though, get over... I, I thought I would struggle with it, but I did get over having an AI companion follow me around. I really liked being on my own, you know? Not having this AI companion with me. Uh, in the first game, but... Oh, nope. I forgot to put it in my, uh... My build inventory. So I'm rusty. It's been a while since I played this one. Um, let's, uh... Can I swap? How do I... Um... Where's the... How do I... Crap. Oh, swap. There we go. Okay, swap with uh, this thing. Okay. Now, does it go here? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, let me look at this schematic again. And try to see it the way I'm supposed to... Is that where... Is that... Is there an orange arrow that represents where I'm standing? Is that what that is? Let me move over here and see if it... Oh, it does. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's see here. So, does it go here? Yeah, okay. Now I got myself oriented properly. And where else do we need those big iron things? Oh, are those... Those are iron things, like, all in the... All in the back there. Okay, so there's quite a bit I need to put in the back. All right. Starting here. Yep, okay, so these are all iron block spots. Oops. But, you know, the, these games have this really nice kind of casual vibe to them. They're like great... Podcast games, if you know what I mean. Oops. And again, the first one especially. I've been having trouble staying hooked into this one. Alright, that's the end of those. Is there anything else I can add? Let's see here. Oh, there's still more of these silver bricks I could be piling up. And now that I know where those iron ones are... Man, I'm glad I noticed that orange arrow business. I had never noticed that before. Um, although, that's funny. It looks like... Maybe I could put these, ch these chairs out? How do I make some of those? Deck chairs. Uh... I could, I'm going to have to go build that somewhere. Okay, so let's go back here and build some deck chairs. Oh, and my iron's going to be done there real soon. Then I can finish my iron blocks. Do I have the deck chair recipe? I sure hope I do. Oh, I'm not seeing it here. Did I miss it somewhere? Hmm. I am not seeing it. Do I need to uh, mark it somehow? Let's see. Oops. Hang on. Okay, I gotta go back and look at the schematic.
a game that I really wanted to hook me in even more than this one, but never quite did, was Conan Exiles. Uh, that's, a, you know, an open-world survival kind of crafting type of thing. I thought I could... I thought I could, like... Select these for... I don't understand. I thought I could select this... <laughs> Crap! I guess I've forgotten how to play this game. It's been so long. Was I at the wrong table? Maybe I was at the wrong table. What is this? This seems like the right table, though. It seems like I should be able to build what I want here. Because it's like carpentry type stuff, right? So where is the freaking deck chair? Ugh, man. Um, Justin Meyer says, I didn't play the first one, and I do like the home island better than the mission islands. Yeah, I can understand that. <clears throat> but part of me, you know, I like, I, have, I, have not, I haven't given up on this game because there's also, that, that home island, I think, is where the post game is. Um, and so I, I want to get to that because the post game in the first one was also great. What is this? This is... Oh, I already have one of these crafting stations. I am mystified about this. Do I... Am I... Do I have a blueprint in my inventory I need to look at? And if so, how do I freaking open my inventory? <laughs> um... Hmm... Okay, I'm gonna give up on the deck chairs for now. Maybe I don't have the recipe, but they're out in the world somewhere and I need to just find them. There, there, there have been situations like that where... You don't know how to make something yet, but there is a place in the world you can find it, so... Um, so, no deck chairs. I'm pretty sure I can make barrels. Oh, but I need to, to put the iron underneath those first, right? Well, I've been pacing back and forth trying to figure this crap out. Let me see if maybe my iron's done being cooked now. I think it is. So unfortunately, you know, this this is kind of a these days, this is why it doesn't hook me. It is a bit of a tedious experience. Oh, I think I can collect even though it's not done. Great. Okay. Build iron building blocks. And let's just make uh, as many as we can. Yes. Great. Man. Oh! Monsters! Gotta fight them off! Where are they? Where are they coming in from? Oh! They're coming in from the east! What I miss from both the, the first Dragon Quest Builders and this one is spells. You know, I mean, these are based on, of course, the the long-running Dragon Quest turn-based JRPG series. Um, and so it seems like such a missing component that your character can't cast spells. There are some spell-ish type things. Like, you can, late in the first game, acquire these items that are basically like bullets of ice and fire, and so they function as kind of like these elemental spells, you know, projectiles. They certainly look like spells when you're firing them off. Um, but they, uh, I still feel like magic is missing in a major way. I can see why they didn't. I mean, most of the things, well, I think all of the things that you can accomplish with magic in the core games you can accomplish with crafting in this game, so, you know. But I just like magic, because magic's cool. There we go. All right, now, was that Yawn hanging on Benadryl? Or any kind of fatigue at all? Hard to say at this point. But 
it, it is interesting to me as I think that, you know, here we're not, we haven't even reached... Oops, that's not right. Oh, crap! Sorry, I didn't mean to... Dang it. Uh... Like, when we reach noon... That'll be like... One-fourth of the way through. Only one-fourth of the way through. <laughs> Just have to do that six-hour run... Three more times. <laughs> uh. Oh, crap! Come on, Branson. There we go. All right. All right, now were these... How many of these were... That's good. That's good. I think these two, though, were... Different kind of blocks. Oh, well, one of them was... Which one? This one? And then maybe this one here was a silver brick. It was. Okay, good, good. We're making some progress. We're making some progress. Not much time left, though. Just, just a little over a minute. Um, can we put some of these iron things down? Let's see if we can pull that off. Uh, man, what? See, I have to figure out what's their relationship to this other one. It's two left and and then two up from that. So on two and then one. Two. So also right here. Okay, that's where the first one goes. And then we stack them three high. See, I just want this whole map to be a holographic overlay. It would just be so much faster and I'd have to swap back and forth. So, so less tedious. Much less tedious. Um... Okay, good. Oh, and they need a ladder. Do I have any ladders? I thought I did. Oh, I've got one. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. Let's swap it with this for now. Oh, yeah, that's just one segment of a ladder. I need uh, two more. Okay, so let's build some ladders. I'm probably not gonna... No, I don't have time. <laughs> okay. But, hey, I made some progress here, so it gets me that much closer to getting past this... Uh, slump in the experience for me that building this bar has been. Um, and uh, that much closer to getting through this game and getting to the part that I think is really gonna be fun. So... Even though it's not my favorite experience right now. Uh, that was cool to play, Justin. Thank you very much. And, and even more than that, thank you for your donation. Really, really appreciate it. What an amazing year. What an amazing year of fundraising. Really took me by surprise that so many people were on board with this new thing. Uh, both in terms of team members and donors. The support has been fantastic. All right. Well, let me get my lady. We're going to play Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. How appropriate, right? Maybe just need to lean in just a wee little bit. Right, just scooch it just a bit this way. 
You can come in. I was just adjusting our chairs. This will be for you. Okay. And um, I actually have a splitter so we can both hear the audio. Or is that the camera? That's the camera right up there. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's the unicorn. <laughs> So you can put these on. Are these your new ones? Mm hmm Nice. Yeah, they are nice. And so this was, this is Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. This was- What? Oh, so, <laughs> this is Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Um, and this was the plan B for last year. Okay. Um, or the secondary option, if we didn't spend the whole time playing Kaboom, which oh, we yeah. ended up doing. Oh, yeah, so. those buckets were flying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're flying like crazy. <laughs> we can't stop that momentum once it gets going. Is um, this for me? It yeah, will be. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's, uh... Is Do it maybe... Want... Maybe it's dead. Um, Do you want my headphones? No, no. No, this is fine. Um, what in the world? Is this a dead battery already? I had this already. Dang it. Um, let me try. I got an idea. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to leave you alone for just a little bit. Okay. Don't expect me to do anything weird, people. Hi, Joel. It is madness. Sorry, it's hard for me to see this far. I don't have my distance glasses on, so just reading the comments. So is this the one where we're working to uh, run a spaceship or something? Yes. yes. Okay. Guess I'll do this so I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I'll do something similar. Although I don't think these are gonna block the sound for me. <laughs> these little guys. <laughs> okay. All right, let's start a new game. So now you press X and you choose, you cycle with your cross pad, you cycle through what you want your little guy to look like. What's my cross, this is my cross yes, pad? Yes, yeah, that's cross pad, <laughs> yep. I think I want that guy. Okay, so press X again when you're ready. I'm lover new and you're lover pie. So, what's up with the name? Long ago in a faraway future, <laughs> super smart scientists built a machine to harness the most awesome force in the universe. Love. Uh-huh. Oh, I gotta start our timer. With the power of the Ardor Reactor, explorers took to the stars, uniting all the peoples of the galaxy. I think our sun is on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All were protected by the League of Very Empathic Rescue Space Knots, the lovers who guarded the reactor. Oh, very empathic something. But disaster was brewing. An error in the XOXO matrix allowed the dark force of anti love to seep into our reality. The explosion ripped a hole in space-time itself, and the Ardor Reactor was blasted to pieces.
Now with anti-love spreading across the galaxy, the fate of our space-time seems decidedly unlovely. It's pretty easy so far, right? Mm, yeah. Oh no, system's failing, main fleet gone, but the prototype ship, it might still have power. The prototype ship is cut off in the west ventricle, but if I can just get a signal through... Alert. Alert. Hey, can you hear me? It's Dr. Hopsy Flopsy. HQ's been breached. Get that ship out of there. Oh, so X to jump. What do we have? Um, so, Get the ship out of here. Yeah. Hey, I just did a pirouette. Oh. Okay, so I think... Yeah, if you press... Whoa, we have to... Oh, we're shooting these things. Oh. Can you shoot the one down there? And then I think circle... Oh, wait, it's the green buttons that we're shooting. Oh. So I think you press circle to get away from your station. So I can get this one on the left, and then if you go to the bottom one... I will try. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> There we go. <laughs> uh oh. Better man our stations. Haha. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I am not good at. Oops. Shoot. So we are back. We should be up and running now. Um. Sorry about that. I don't know if I need to. Um. If you're in chat and you can and you can hear us, put something in the chat and let us know. I'm not sure if I need to uh, update where the link is at, if it, if it created a new link or what.
Okay. So the stream is up now, and I've updated the links where it's posted to. Okay. So it should just be a matter of, of people refreshing, um, and some of them will even be notified if they're linked in to what we're doing. So we'll, we will hey. keep going. All right. Oh, hey. Good. Thank you, Justin, for popping in the chat. We were trying to figure out, are we back? Is it working? <laughs> you know. Yeah, but I think we're good now. Um, okay, so hopefully that won't happen again. We'll see. All right, so what are we supposed to do now? Um, Something about shields. Oh, oh, I think I, I think I can do that. I think I got to shoot this thing here. The red butt. Oh, yeah. red buttons. Maybe. Maybe oh, we, we got to work. We got to work together. Okay. Oops. Here I come. So you're gonna do that red one down there? Yeah. And I'll do this one over here. Nice. Yay. Go team spear blade. <laughs> What is this thing? Oh, oh, that's a shield. Are you operating that? Yes. Oh, you are. Okay. Um, let me try to shoot him. Nice. Oh no! <laughs> this is a oh, good, this is a good combination. Make you run around <laughs> while I just <laughs> work the <with> shield. <laughs> shield. It's fine with me. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, we got to do these things again. I gotta get off yeah. of here. That reference to Go Team Spirit Blade is um is a joke between me and Holly that we've been saying for years because Oops. there was one day where we were both wearing Spirit Blade Productions T-shirts. We just randomly uh. <laughs> chose to wear them on the same day, and so it felt like we were part of some team doing a relay race or some corporate activity or something. <laughs> <laughs> and so I referred to us as Team Spirit Blade. And now just whenever we have oh. whenever we have good moments of teamwork. I think you need to do this part. Oh, the, the steering <laughs> of the ship? Yes. I'm going to steer oh, us bit, everywhere. It's a bit backwards. Where, i got to get back to the shields. <laughs> Cause yeah, it drifts after you. Oh, you want to shoot that open or I'll shoot it. I'm right here. Okay. Oh crap! Come on. Um. Oh no, they're saying we have to have one of those little people to to unlock it. Oh. So we have. We'll, we'll come back there once we've saved a people. We gotta save a people. Yeah. I hear them. Oh, there's a people. How do we save them? Um, maybe below this cage open? Oh, they just <laughs> float to you! <laughs> what? <gasps> they have magical powers! Hey! You, you gotta refresh. refresh. Yeah, hit the refresh button. <laughs> he looks... <laughs> Someone's looking at us very skeptically. Yes. About us being back on. All right. What? What the heck? Um, we gotta oh, go wait, back no, no, down back, through back, back. that. That's right. That's right. Tunnel. Yep. There we go. Come in. I didn't even hear that. No. Well, somebody's in the chat watching us. Yeah. Maybe X out and get back in, or... Yeah, just go back to the... Are you watching it on the YouTube channel for Christian Geek Central? Yeah. Just try exiting and re... And coming back to Christian Geek Central, to the, to the YouTube channel. Oh, we just got... Huh. Well, I don't know what could be going on. It says we have an excellent connection. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get off uh, of here. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you'll just have to keep trying stuff. We can't troubleshoot that with you right now. Oops. Did I pop you off of there, or you got uh, off there I yourself? got off. I got off. I okay. think you shoot these buttons. Yeah. Except I gotta aim. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna take me a bit. It's alright. What is this? What in the world? Oh, my gosh. Is that this thing up here? 
Oh crap. Ah, oh, I got stuck on a thing. Oh, that is weird. It's... I'm not gonna... Oh, wait. I got away from it. What happened? I, the, oh. Oh, gosh. What is that thing? I don't know, but I can't use it. Oh, it's charging back up. So it's like a temporary weapon. All right. What does it do? I don't know. It's maybe a more effective weapon than the, your normal one? <laughs> no idea. The model cannon is very oh, powerful, there. but you have to time it just right. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, I'm not on the um, shield. Crap. Wait. Defensive maneuvers. Good job. Thank you. This is hard with just two people. Yeah. Hopefully they scale the difficulty. Yeah. Can't shield and shoot at the same time. There's the escape portal. Looks like you'll need more space bunnies to open it, though. Oh, so they're called space bunnies. Okay. Space bunnies. Where did our space bunny go? I think he just got turned into love and absorbed into our ship. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, there's one. <laughs> That's weird. That's pretty weird. Oh, no, trouble. Oh, crap, I can't steer. Oh, my gosh. Uh, what the heck? I'll keep the shield on this guy. Okay. Uh... Oh my gosh. Good job, good job. You did it. Thank you. Now I gotta shoot buttons again. Shoot Dang the it. buttons. Hey, what's this? Please something useful. It's a map. Oh, use it to map. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, what is that? Oh. Tells you where the bunnies are? I guess. And where you are in relation to them. Okay. Wait, is this the right way to go? I don't know. Dang it. Oh, yes, it is. There's a mini map on the bottom left. You see that? Yes. Mm. Oh, man. Every time we bump into something, we take damage. This ship is lame. <laughs> now, how do we get that? I don't hmm. know. Oh, maybe the, the super cannon. Oh, maybe. yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's just a guess. I'll, do it. Okay, I'll try. Oh. Oh. I tapped it once, and it just blew all its ammo. <laughs> I'm going to wait for it to charge. I'm not waiting. I'm going. It's time for adventure. <laughs> Ooh, there's a bunny, though. Oh, locking behind us. So we probably missed our chance to get that, whatever it was. Um. <gasps> oh, no. Um. That activated. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, but there are more. Oh, and unlocked again. Okay. Well, great. Oh, this is just an empty spot. Okay. Man, the steering is so weird. I'm sure that's what it's supposed to be. I'm sure that's by design. Probably. Oh, you weren't going to try and get that thing? Oh, no, I can try to get it. I'm sorry, I was distracted. I was thinking about the stream and... Yeah, seeing if people are... Yeah. Okay. 
Nice. Not sure what that... Oh, awesome map data. Now you can pinpoint a Space Bunny location. Well, great. That's just great news. Okay, so we're going up, right, and down. All right. Ugh. Oof, I think it will be good to take a little lunch break. How's that Pepsi and ice cream treating you? Fine. From last night? Yeah. I had uh, Pepsi and ice cream back-to-back -back do bad things to my stomach. And I had a nice-sized bowl of ice cream and a little bit of Pepsi. But no, I'm doing fine. Hmm. Do we need the special cannon? No, no, no. There's something over here. Right? Security system's gone haywire. Remember, your shield can block bullets. Oh, so that is showing, I think, the path of a bullet that's going to come out. So if we go through that and the shields are in the right place, we should be fine. Okay. So do you want to no man the... pressure. Yeah, you want to man the shields? <laughs> yeah, I will try. <laughs> All right. Ready? Ready. Here we go. Oops. Crap. Oh. Got this. Oh crap, I don't got this. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is stressful. <laughs> Alright, ready? Ready. Nice and easy. <gasps> We got more love. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Oh, nice. Phew. All right, ready? Oh, good grief. Okay. Ready? <laughs> we'll find out. So I guess it's not the red beam that does damage. It's just no, showing us yeah. where the path of the bullets. Okay, that's good. Yay! Phew! Okay. Now I was can... stressed. That is stressful. <laughs> this is a str I forgot. This is a stressful game. <laughs> I have access to an even more kind of like casual party game that has a lot of stress to it because um, of my PlayStation Plus subscription. It's called, um, I don't know, it's something about cooks in a kitchen. Oh, crap. Um, but I've heard that it like ends friendships and I'm like, ah, I don't really want to end my marriage <laughs> over a video game. Yeah. So we'll start with this. Overcooked. It's called Overcooked. Really okay. popular game. Yeah. Huh. Alright. Am I steering again? Yeah. Ooh, don't, 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 don't. So it's a game you just can't take it too seriously. It's my I problem. Guess, maybe? I, I take games way too seriously. <laughs> yes. We found that out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So we gotta shoot this thing now. Okay. You want me to shoot it? You can... Yeah, you're close. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we had... I won't, I'll spare you the details of the question. Because it gets into some personal stuff. But early on, when we were married, uh, some friends of... Mostly Hollies. Oh. Is that what you were getting at? No? No, but that's... Yeah. They okay, thought go it would be a fun idea to play the newlywed game. Um... And that was not fun. That was not fun. Um, yeah, it uh, just, em it, I, it was embarrassing and frustrating and made me feel stupid. And yeah, did yeah, not like me that. Me too. Did not like that. Where are we going? 
up a... No, oh, no, oh. we can't. Can oh, we I need on? to drive this. I need to sp- control the ship. We're going up to that heart. Oh, man. There, right? What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Heart? Okay. I thought we were going back into the laser. Oh, no, I don't think so. I don't think we have to. Ooh. Oh. My job's fairly simple compared to yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I'm trying to man two stations. I know. <laughs> I'm just manning the shield. And that's what I remember being stressful about this game, is like having to run around the ship manning multiple stations. Yeah, when you don't have very many players. Yeah. Well, I think even when you have a full complement, there are more stations than... Oh, yeah. Whoa. Hey, I think we're going to win this stage. That is a lot of love right there. Yeah. Aw, romantic getaway. Yeah. You made it, thank goodness. The universe has become unstable. The fabric of space-time is shifting. Okay. Our only hope is to recover the four Ardor reactor pieces. I think one of them is in Ursa Major. Can you investigate? Yeah, Justin, the Newlywed game is an old game show from, I want to say, the 60s. I feel like it's an old game. 60s, maybe 80s. Yeah, it was a game show. Yeah, it was a game show. And they had this, like, really retro copy of the, the home version of the game. I mean, it was out of print when we were playing it. Some They just got their hands on it. It was kind of a novelty. And since none of us watched the show, I don't think we really knew what we were in for. We kind of had a vague idea of what the Newlywood game was about. But... So we're selecting a campaign now? What is this... What's the easy campaign? Oh, we did that one. I guess we're doing Ursa Major, because that's what's are. next. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Much more health, much easier enemies. Time records are not saved. There we go. There we go. Ooh, we get to select a ship. Gumball Zero, a sturdy, lovely prototype battleship contained the first portable artery reactor. So I think that's the ship we had. Yeah. Oh. And that's the only choice we have. <laughs> okay. Guess we can't. We should do a ship crew game as a group of patrons. I thought in the back of my mind of like something that could possibly be like a, a, a patron invite thing. I don't know if that'll ever come to fruition, but it is something I've thought about. Alright, so I guess we can go whenever we're ready. Wait, should we run into this thing? Do you have to shoot it or... Oh, no. Oh, you can just run into it. Cool. Great. Let's see what this uh, question mark is. Oh, no! Oh, shoot. I'm not... Wait, but I can shoot it. <laughs> yes, you can shoot. I'm like, I'm not on the shields. Oh... Part of the problem is I don't know what I can't ever remember what my buttons do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bunny over this way. Square operates. <sighs> I think this is one of those games. Like some games are designed to be awkward to control, and I think that this is designed that way. Oh. What? There's a guy down oh, there. there's a guy down there. I'm gonna go get him. Okay. Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't like how much I'm yawning right now. Yeah, that's not good. It doesn't bode well. Oh, how did you... Did you sleep okay? Oh, my I, gosh. I felt like, you know, for a pre-marathon night, it was pretty average. You know, it was not... Uh, it didn't feel worse. But you know what this yawning could be about? Very easily, actually. Um, now that I've been in the live stream long enough that, you know, I'm not nervy like I it was at the beginning, um, it could be that I'm feeling the effects of the Benadryl because I took, I took a lot. And I took a regular dose and then like two times during the night when I woke up, I took another single oh pill. Oh my gosh. And a, mel- and a couple, and one melatonin each time as well. <laughs> Uh, so that's probably what's I'm going to choose to think optimistically that that's what's going on so down and right I guess is where we ought to go now I guess 
Oh, I need to, I propulsion, propulsion, here we go. All right. Oh, enemy's coming. I'm glad they kind of show them. Yeah. yeah, show them as green blips on the mini map. Oh, I didn't even look at the mini map. I just like that they kind of show, kind of show up before they start shooting, so you have time to prepare a little bit. Here comes one. Yeah, I hear you, Justin. Justin said, dude, too much sleep aid. Yeah, but in my experience, better too much than too little. I would so prefer to be drowsy for part of these things than on the tail end to realize, oh my gosh, I needed more sleep. All right. Well, this was not quite as exciting as Kaboom. Uh, well, yes, that's true. So... That's true. And we, I, I actually would have been totally content to play Kaboom again, but when I got the controllers out, they had, oops, they'd gotten dirty or something over the course of the year, even without being used hardly at all. So there was a lot of uh, jitter in the controls. And so it just would have been impossible to, to reasonably play that game the way they were. But anyway, so there's the unicorn. You can see her again maybe in another, <laughs> in another year. Um, thank you all so much for your donations. Um, and now I am going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to set up a video to play while I take my lunch break. Uh, this is going to be highlights from, I think, year, years two and three of doing this annual marathon. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully by the time I get back, uh, more of you guys will have found the, uh, uh, the live stream. Um, yeah. All right. I'll see you in about 30 minutes. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Rugged Warrior and Reed Benson, who both say welcome back. Um, yeah, sorry about the uh, technical issue that took the stream off for a little bit there. We actually got back on sooner than most of you saw. Uh, what I didn't notice that I figured out uh, with my family's help is that the stream, even when it came back on, auto-selected unlisted. And I think that's because when my live streams finish, I have YouTube settings set them to be unlisted. Because um, I'd rather not have them sitting up there as they are, but to uh, you know, polish the audio just a little bit and put them up in those one hour chunks that I do uh, later on. Um, but what I didn't know is that when it shut off and then my software auto reconnected, it would already be in that unlisted mode. So if that happens again, uh, hang tight, I will know this time to check and make sure that the stream is set to public when it refreshes and comes back. But um, if you missed uh, that time with me and Holly, you should be able to go back into even this live playback that YouTube has and catch that. You could do that now, you could do that uh, on the next dinner break or something like that. And of course, it'll be up in the archives, you know, down the road when, when these hours all go up later. But... Um, my uh, yeah, my lunch break is over. Although oddly enough, I'm going to be <laughs> going and getting my lunch in just a few minutes. I forgot to preheat the oven for my pizza, and so my lunch break was mostly about me just going to a dark room and avoiding stimulation. Sitting in front of these lights, even for a regular four-hour live stream, when I'm done with that four-hour live stream, I just feel overstimulated, and I'm like, I'm spent, you know. And so every one of these meal breaks, uh, I, well, there's really just two, I take advantage of. Even my bathroom breaks, it's nice to just be alone in the bathroom and to not have lights shining in my eyes, not see flashing in images I'm interacting with, and just like, have peace for a moment. Um, let's see here. What do I want to play? Oh, here we go. Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon. Um... Uh, DT says, hey, I just got back. Are there issues? Um, the stream went off for a moment. I don't know why. Uh, I haven't noticed any problems like that since. Ruin. So it was just kind of like an internet service provider issue, uh, I'm sure. But uh, 
if it happens again, I should be able to get it back on and visible to you guys faster than I did this last time. All right. Well, I'm at the point in this game where there are four final dungeons that are... Can you feel it? The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. Um, there are four dungeons that are really extreme and punishing. Um, and I have leveled up my guys to be ready for the second one now. I finished the first one. I think I'm ready to take on the second one. We'll see how it goes. I made multiple saves. Up in, I used I used a kind of an, uh, an exploit of the cross-save system built into the PlayStation to basically put copies of this same save uh, on... Uh, uh, on multiple slots in multiple places. So if this all goes horribly, I still have a fallback point. Uh, all right. So let's embark. Oh, I did make a couple notes for myself about how to go about taking on this dungeon. What were my notes? Second quest, bring lots of bandages, healing herbs, and holy water. There are three altars in this in the map of this dungeon. One to the left, one to the right, and one upward from the starting location. Do not backtrack to the center altar. I can't remember why, but that'll do bad things. And camp after the mini-bosses. Um, and I need to bring with me... Let's see here. Oh, I did, by the way, go through and... Um, I noticed that some cool people, I've heard that the cool people, the cool streamers will do this if they have patrons. They will name their uh, very, very expendable heroes in this game after patrons. Um, so uh, almost every hero it, at my disposal has been named after a patron. And then a few that were remaining were named after um, like people in my family. Um, so let's see here. Uh... If a retro rewind pod, Francisco. I even think that his of all the of all the different heroes or whatever guys that I could choose, this one even looks just a tiny bit like Francisco. Um. Okay, let's see here. His stress is starting out at twenty. I don't like that. Let's see if we can get a fresher one that's level six. That would be ideal. How's this guy looking? Now, this guy's looking good. He's got all the skills I want him to have. He's level six. No quirks or diseases that are going to get in the way. So, yeah, we're going to uh, put him in that slot. And then I need a man-at-arms. Oh, that's way too low level. Uh, too low level. I need a level six man-at-arms. Oh. Well, what happened to Joel Nelson? Where'd you go, Joel? He was being treated for something. Oh, do I need to... I might need to um, actually do a suicide run. Uh, if he still needs to be cured of that disease. So actually, I'll do something much simpler before I try to do the Darkest Dungeon run. Let's, um, let's just do a straight up, like, literal suicides run. So, Tim F., that's my dad, Tim Franson. Sorry, Dad. You're going down. <laughs> um, let's see. Nathan Norman. Put him up at the front there. Uh... David B. We'll put right here. And then... Uh, oh, here's Katya. Katya from the Netherlands. We'll put right here. I'm pretty sure she's gone to sleep over there in uh, the Netherlands now. Well, hello, hello Dieter Pinklage. <laughs> he says, you're a good dude, CGC. Glad to stop by on this Saturday. Glad to have you stopping by, Dieter. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think this is going to be good for just a quick run while my while my man at arms heals up. 
Um, do I actually want to do this whole run? I don't think I do. I'll probably want to abort the run. I'm just doing this so that time passes back at my chateau or whatever the crap. Um. Hmm. But if I do see it through, I'm looking at these possible rewards. Oh, wait a minute. She can't do that. It's too... Too, uh... Small for her. Let's do this one. Or this one. 90% of rooms. Okay, sure. I'll do this one. And... Gosh. I'm tempted to just kind of do the whole run. No, I don't want to spend more than an hour on this, so we'll just do a suicide run. Yeah, we'll just embark. No, we're still gonna embark. So basically, I'm gonna go in, explore a couple of rooms, just so that it counts toward time progression back in the town. And then I'll have them run away, which does damage to their psyche to be so cowed, I guess, by that experience. So beaten and unsuccessful, I guess, is the thinking there. Uh, I never ate my Quick Trip Donut as my reward earlier this morning. Oops, a little bit of drool almost came out of my mouth. So I gotta have that quick trip goodness now. Best donuts on the planet, I think. Hmm. I gotta be careful. I don't wanna get a bunch of sugary stuff on my controller. Um. Wow, I might be able to play this one handed. Uh, let's see here. Let's bleed this guy in front, I'm thinking. Yeah. Hmm. You wanna try and stun this guy, maybe? Yeah, that's worth a shot. Nice. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Can't reach him anyway. Okay, this guy. All right. Um, we can't re-stun those guys in the back. Once they've been stunned, they're kind of resistant to it for a bit. I'll bet we could uh, blight this dude up front, though. Oh man, this is good. I'm glad I bought four Quick Trip Donuts. I'll only eat two probably during the live stream, but that just means I have two tomorrow on my recovery day to really enjoy them, to really savor them. You know, I'm multitasking here on a live stream. I can't really take in the goodness of the QT Boston Cream Donut. I get about 75% of the experience. Maybe as little as 50 All right. Um, let's. I I shouldn't be taking this that seriously. I'm just uh, doing a suicide run. Well, a suicide run where they won't actually die. I'm not gonna let them die. Oh, crap! My pizza. I gotta take my pizza out of the oven. I got it back. Don't burn pizza. I'm coming. Summer in <laughs> no. insanity. In my liberate butter. Butter, my God, I